Hello everyone, and welcome to another Unreal Engine content review. In this video, I'll be going over a 3D scanned photorealistic project that is created by STF 3D environments. And they have created a pack that is somewhat tropical mix. And uh, it seems like it had some other trees that are not necessarily tropical, but uh, you can definitely see that they have palm trees, uh, some of the branches, and then some of those type of trees. I don't know if it has an actual name for it. But here is a quick description of this project. I will leave that description in the details of the video and also the link to this project. Let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do that, check out the support engine version. It's supporting 4.17 through 4.27. And this project can be added to your current project, so you don't have to create a new one. And this project is over 5 gigabytes. Uh, once you open up your project, you have different maps that you can open. This one right here currently is Pack 12 Test. That is currently being opened. The pack demo is just simply all the static meshes that they got, but we'll probably go over that as well. Uh, the interesting thing about this one, it comes with a test sequence. Uh, if you're not familiar with the sequences, here is an example from this level. If I were to press G, you can see that uh, there is a path that's been taken with this cinema camera actor. You can see that there is a preview of it, of where it's looking at currently. Um, but if you're to work with this sequence, and if I were to select that sequence, or the path, you can see that it has a location transformation on three values, and an X, Y, and Z values. On the axis, the rotation, and also scale. And you can select each individual if you want to, and you can see where that camera is located at. And of course, you can create your own path this way as well. I have personally not worked with sequences yet, but hopefully those will be added in the future for cinematography, creating some really nice shots of the landscape that I've created. Um, but, but we will fly through this and then we will uh, talk about it a little bit. But before we do that, I want to kind of cover what else is in this pack that is given to you. So we have the base, which contains four different folder. The first one is the build board materials. And this is towards the, I believe, related to the plants. And it's a master material for the plants or for the trees. And in order to see exactly what it's referenced to, you can right click and click reference viewer. And you can see that what it references to within that project itself. So there's some sort of type of foliage and it's being applied to some of the bushes, big leaves, banana master, and then coconut. So some of these trees do contain that master material. We go back out to the landscape. This is all landscape textures and the material that has been applied uh, between, I don't know if this, uh, yeah, this is actual landscape. So it's been uh, applied between here and there. And then you can see that there's transition between the landscape material. And if we were to click on the landscape, you'll see that once you go to the painting, it should appear there if it's properly set up. And you can see that there's different layers and you can paint them all and use them. So let's say you don't want to create a new landscape material. You can use this one that's already set up and done. And then you can use that for your project. And then you can paint it over, of course, and change stuff. Now, of course, the farther you go, you can see the repetition. I'm sure you can set it up so that way it spread out a little bit more the farther you go out. So we have a detailed up close texture, then you have a little bit farther out, and then you have the global, uh, which is even farther out. But you can try to change that if it's too small or too close to each other. 
The next one is the landscape grass type, and then this is all your grass types that are layered. So you can see that there's different grass types over here uh, being applied to this landscape depending on which material you're using and material functions. So all the different material functions for this level is in this folder. And then for whatever reason, there's two layers that are saved, layer seven and eight in here. I don't know if it was meant to be stored with the rest of them, but for some reason I only see two. I don't know where the rest of them are in here yet. So here's our environment. I'm assuming this is all static meshes. Let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, so each folder contains the actual static mesh. It also has a, a grass type or foliage type. And uh, it contains all the materials that are required and textures for that particular tree or a static mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on static meshes. And then you can see that there's different bushes. So we have blue maritus. I've never heard of this actual plant, but a good thing about this, I will be adding all of those plants to the game. So it's all of these bushes and all of those palm trees, even this uh, driftwood will be added to the game and all the flowers. Uh, the grass, some of them probably will be added as well. Sugar cane, so that's gonna be interesting to add to the game as well. And then this is a, it's called a tick tree. I don't know if the tick trees are tropical trees and that's what I was referring to. I wasn't sure, I'm not I'm aware. All right, I don't know where these trees do grow, but I do like them and then do remind me of the trees that I have from their other pack that I've already added to the game. So yes, all of those trees will be added to the game. So is the rocks. And the more variety we have, the better. And you will see those in the future updates. Let me see those palm trees. Those palm trees look familiar. No, I have not. I don't have those. So it'll be very interesting to add all of those. And this is actually uh, Jacayana. I don't even know. Never heard of this plant either or the tree. So it will be very interesting to add those. Obviously, coconut trees is what's uh, most important to me to make sure that there is no actual coconuts on it. And I'm very glad they're not there because I don't like palm trees that do come with uh, coconuts material instances because then you can't interact with them in the future and it's just uh, time consuming to replace it. So this is a perfect example of what type of trees you would want to use when it comes to it. The next one is the map and here we have a demo. I will go over that in a moment and then obviously the test so that way you can see all of those trees in action. So here we go. The shaders are all in here. For some reason it goes to up to six and it goes six and then again six no plants. And then the 7 8 was in the other one. So you might have to transfer that if you want to keep all the layer information in the same folder, which was, I believe, was right here. So these two should be in the other one as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and press play. Uh, before we do that, let's see what, it's, what is in here. We have just a couple static meshes. And obviously, the most important one is this Cine Camera Actor. Uh, I will probably will be using this as an example to learn how to use these sequences and plus obviously some of the other YouTube videos on how to set them up. Uh, but to kind of get an idea on how they're done, this is a good example. So let's go ahead and press play and then we'll watch. There's no sound in this. Let me press F11. But let me do it, okay. And we'll look at some of the lighting and setup of this landscape. Here's our sugar canes growing out of the pond there. The rocks look actually pretty good. I like them. Those definitely could be used. They're definitely a different color from any of the rocks that I have, but the variety is, is definitely important. I like how smooth the camera moves. This can definitely be used for my underwater exploration showcase you know like to do like a more of a, like a demo and the landscape itself so if you want to demo your landscape this is definitely one way of doing it is setting up sequences like this and um, the water doesn't look too bad on a shoreline I actually like it but the reflection of that is just so strong I also like the landscape uh, material of that sand you can see that uh, it has this little bit of a ripple effect there. 
These flower bushes look really nice. Definitely want to put those in the game. That would be really interesting to uh, see how they um, blend well with the flowers that I previously had for the flower update video. I also like that palm tree that kind of bends over the pond That's uh, or the stream over here of a lake or a small pond, I guess you can call it. How it's hanging really low to the ground. Pretty cool. You have some coconuts growing there and then they fall down in the water once they're ripe. It will be interesting to uh, build something like this because I will add ponds to the game in the future. Well, I have been actually working on that. I already have two, but uh, they will have to be optimized and changed. Um, but I like how he or they set up the rocks in the water, how they're protruding, and there is no issues between those static meshes and the water. Yeah, the sugar cans look amazing too. I can't wait to add those in the game. They will definitely bring realism to my landscape. I like that sun glare on the camera reflection. Really nicely set up sunlight. And you can see that the, none of these plants have these dark shadows. Uh, they do have natural dark lighting, but the, none of them have any issues with the lighting. There are some other flowers growing. Very beautiful stuff. Look at that. I like that grass type vegetation set up too. Oh, there's a... Uh, a little bit of a drop frame over there on that rotation. But it looks really good. I like it. And look at all the sunlight going through these palm trees. Other plants growing on the edge. I wonder what the name of those. I've seen, I think I've seen those before and they look really nice there. I wonder what this would look like with the oceanology, the actual ocean. So you can even use this landscape as is already if you're trying to create something small. Uh, you can probably even use that for your game development or cinematography, whatever. Whatever you're trying to work with definitely is a ready to be used project. This one is a very interesting palm tree too. It kind of bends on the side and then it grows straight up. Unique, very unique palm trees. Definitely different than others. And I like it. I just got to make sure that the trunk size of the palm trees is similar to the ones I already have in the game. So some of the stuff will have to be adjusted either between this project or the other one. And I think that was it. And now you can fly around, I believe. Or yeah, look at that. Now we can move around and look at some of the stuff. You can see that uh, those rocks, I don't know if those are barnacles or in there. Or it's just uh, salt formation on this rock over there. But these are nice rocks as well. I like them. They're dark and very high detail. I do like the water, actually. It's not bad at all. Uh, for some reason, in the editor, it looks like a glass. But look how blue this water is. It's actually really nice. I don't know if I can go under. Yeah, I can't go underwater. It won't let me because it prevents camera from going there. But this landscape uh, looks really, really nice. I like it. So it's more of like an ocean here. And a transition. On the shoreline is more of like a straight line, which is definitely better than what I have for my oceanology. It's because I never got to it yet. But these palm trees are definitely beautiful. I like them. The, the, those trunks, if you, for some reason you're not happy with it or you want to create another one, you can definitely use mm, Quixel Mixer Bridge Mega Scans uh, to replace them. So you can definitely create different types of uh, vegetation by reusing some of the stuff. I believe that can be done as well. And I definitely want to put these flowers in the game. That would be nice. Let's just do another quick flight through here. There's a bigger plant. I don't know if this is just a bigger version of the smaller plants. I think it might be. More of a uh, scaled up version of it. Now let's press F11. Go back to place mode. I'm going to see if I can select that. So this is a um, 
foliage, so I can't individually select that. But I do like the transitions between the landscape. Look at that, it's very smooth. Now, like compared to what I have, uh, it's definitely has a better transition between the different layers. And there's some really nice flowers. These are just static. It looks like they don't have a wind simulation, but that can be added. You just take one of these grass types and then just reapply that to that, and then it's done. It's just a world position displacement over there that can be added. Okay, so we have opened up this project. This is just a quick review of every single static mesh that's in the game. Let's press F11 to make the screen bigger. I think those are banana trees. Those are the three type. Oh, okay, so they do come in three different sizes, which is really nice. And we'll be adding all of those as well in the game, those bushes. Uh, those rock formations will look great as well. Look at that. Uh, we'll definitely be using that. It looks like there's some sort of um, a grass or a moth growing on it. Uh, shoreline rocks formations. I like that there's a hole here, which is really nice because then the landscape can protrude and I get the different variations. Or you can lower it below the ground. Or maybe it's because it's definitely below the surface. I think it's that's the reason. It's I don't think there's actual hole there. It's just a uh, break breaks down through because of this um, demo. I'm not sure. But you can see that these don't have the bottom, so those will be applied at the top of your landscape. And those, I think, can be used as a grass type or a foliage type because then you can actually rotate them and utilize them for whatever else you want. And those rocks can be used, obviously, above the ground and as corals, coral reefs underwater. I will be doing that. Um, all of these plants will be added to the game as well. So it's these palm trees. You have the little ones. Now some of them I feel like moving just a little bit too strong uh, based on the wind system that I currently have in my level. I will probably have to lower it. Uh, but these palm trees, I think the bigger ones behave a little bit more the way I want to. I don't know. We'll have to play around with numbers and see what we come up with. But look at all these details, definitely. Okay, so this one does have those coconuts. That's what I was talking about. I don't know exactly if this palm tree can uh, maybe not have those coconuts. That would be great. I really don't like when they do that because then it doesn't give you a chance to add them. Yeah, you see how they're in there. Are those coconuts? Can I really tell now this is just vegetation. Huh? And then let's look at this one. I think yeah, so this is three different types and the smaller ones. Maybe they could be replaced. Well we'll have to look at it later. A smaller plants. And we'll have a driftwood over here. And then those bigger trees right here that have some some something on it. I don't know. I don't think I saw these in the preview. Maybe I'm kind of didn't look at it. I don't remember having these. I don't know those nuts or what are those what kind of type of tree this is. If you guys know, let me know. Actually, I'll check it in a minute. Maybe it'll tell me. If it says tree, then it says tree. I'll go. Some of the vegetation. This could be used for growing on static meshes like walls and things like that, or the ground. And then you get some different variations of flowers as well. A little bit of more different trees. Then we have sugar canes, and then we have a massive tree over here. So I'll definitely will be using these trees in the game. Not necessarily those over there in the center, but these ones, I will be using that in the game. And then more rock formations. A lot of stuff to utilize, definitely and worth checking it out. So. Let's quickly look at this. I really want to know if this palm tree, so this is a coconut tree, all uh, right. And this tree right here, does this has a name? It's called Fiala, never heard of it. Pretty cool. Okay, so this coconut tree, let's look at the 
material and the static mesh itself what i'm looking for is we have this right here okay so it shows me that it doesn't have it here didn't it have coconuts on there okay it's a wrong tree i clicked uh, it's a smaller one so that's right this is the one I want to see. Okay, so if we're to isolate or highlight, so we got rid of this isolates the trunk. Here we go. So what I can do is either edit this mesh uh, later, but I don't think this is an, I don't know if it's an actual mesh or is it just a material. I'll have to look that through the editor or I can go to the Quixel bridge and then download some palm tree trunks and replace this element three material, the coconut bark materials with a new one. And hopefully I can uh, line it up properly and use that otherwise i can't use palm trees like this with the coconuts attached to it otherwise they're not modular and they can be interacted with in the future uh, therefore i can't use this because I'm, I'm going to have to have coconuts that grow from small to large uh, green in color and then obviously as they begin to change in color uh, showing that they are uh, ripe and ready to be harvested or that they can fall on the ground on their own uh, all of that cannot be done by using this material so it will have to be a blueprint and that will have to be changed oh, well that being said i hope this project will be useful for to all of you guys and i will see you guys in the next review of my content i'll see you guys in the next video